It's Entomology Animated, celebrating the amazing biology of insects using the power of digital animation. Ding. Hello and welcome to Entomology Animated. I'm Eric Keller. And I'm Andrew Schauer. And in this series, we're looking at insect vision. We'll start with the anatomy of some common types of insect eyes, then work our way up to what insects may actually see. So let's begin with our carpenter ant. The carpenter ant has two compound eyes, and if you look closely, you can see that each eye is made up of hundreds of hexagonal facets. Some species of insects have tens of thousands of these facets. Our carpenter ant, not so many. When we go into an extreme close-up and look at a cutaway, you can see that each one of these hundreds of facets sits on top of a long column-like structure. This structure is called an omatidium. Right. The singular noun is omatidium, plural omatidia. The type of eye you see here, the kind that the carpenter ant has, is called an apposition eye. Sometimes known as a photopic eye. And apposition eyes are more common among diurnal insects, that is, insects that are active during the day. Here's how they work. Light photons first pass through a clear corneal lens. This lens is the hexagonal shape you can actually see on the surface of the eye. The light then passes into the crystalline cone, which focuses and channels the light further down into the structure. The crystalline cone is surrounded by pigment cells. These work like an opaque sheath. They wrap around the cone and block light from spilling over into neighboring omatidia. So the light is contained and focused by the crystalline cone toward the center of another group of cells called photoreceptors. These cells are kind of facing inwards and they have bundles of microvilli that extend into the central axis. These bundles are called rhabdomeres, and together this tube of rhabdomeres is called the rhabdom. This is where the light is actually captured because the microvilli here have adapted to convert photons of light into electrical signals. The signals are then sent down to a bundle of axons and into nerve fibers, which send the signal to the ant's brain. So basically, you could view each omatidium as a small, self-contained light sensor, and each one sends a small amount of information to the ant's brain, where all the pieces are assembled into a full image. Exactly. And in our next video, we're going to build on what we've learned to explore a slightly more complex type of eye. The kind of eye used by insects who come out at night.